Hi there, this is Hagen Blount of iTasterBeer.com and I'm with Seth Wright of BeerNationShow.com. Hey Hagen. Tell me about your show, Seth. Uh, it's, a, it's a web show that explores all the craft beer world, bars, breweries, bloggers. Everything. Everything. Everything you want to know about beer, BeerNationShow.com. Yep. We are at Rattle and Hum today. Rattle and Hum is on 33rd between Lexington and 5th in New York City. This area is called, well, I guess Midtown or Murray Hill area. Or what is Murray Hill over there? I don't know. Yeah, Midtown. I mean, it's if you're in Murray Hill, it's worth the walk. If you're in Midtown, it's worth the walk. If you're in Koreatown, you're pretty much right here. If you're at uh, the Empire State Building. If you're at the Empire State Building, which is right there, you can come down after you've uh, seen everything there is to see in New York and enjoy one of their uh, over 40 taps and 200 bottles. So uh, rattle and hum in Midtown. Come check it out if you want excellent beers in New York City. Hens Tooth, Moreland. I guess that's the uh, Moreland Brewing, Westgate Street, brewed in England. Do they have, I don't think they have teeth. That's the whole idea. That's it, Deva. Beak for maximum <laughs> reward. <laughs> Carefully pour into your beak, uh, leaving the yeast sediment in the bottom. No, wait, wait. We don't have beaks. We don't have beaks. The hen has a beak. The hen has a beak. It's got a really strong alcohol. You can definitely smell it. What's the ABV on this one? 6.5. I think. Yeah, you can really, you really smell it right off the bat. You know you're going to be drinking something. Put that whole, get my whole beak in there. It feels like it could have been like aged in some kind of barrel. It is, it's very like, it's got kind of a bourbon-y characteristic. Do you really feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess maybe that's just the ingredients. Yeah. It's got a lot of um, mouthfeel, a lot of sweetness to it. Yeah. So it could still, if you left it around for a year, it could continue to ferment it. But I'm gonna feel that. No, that's the wine thing. You can do that. We're not gonna spit this out. No, you don't spit beer. You only spit wine. Somebody was just asking me, like, well, you know, couldn't you just spit the beer out? What no, no, no. could? Well, what that's, could... that's that's a lot of the taste is, is down here. Yeah. And then and then out your nose later, you can't get that unless you let it go everywhere. Yeah, it's good. It's the finish is very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like multiple flavors in beer. The taste, the, the, the and then the bad. Well, the bitter Those receptors the are on the back of your tongue, right? They're in the absolute back of your tongue. Now, with wine, you don't get the beer, you don't get a lot of bitter. I mean, of course, yeah, there's bitter, but it's not so pronounced as the differences in the bitter flavors of beer. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter. Hen's Tooth by Moreland Brewing Company, a bottle conditioned English ale. My name is Hagen Blount, and for Seth Wright of BeerNation.com, as I taste your beer. Cheers. I nailed it, right? Yeah. Beer, beer Nation. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I nailed it. Yeah, that was a really good one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hen's Tooth, bottle conditioned English ale. My name is Hagen Blount for I taste your beer.com. For Seth Wright of BeerNationShow.com. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>